my name is John and I'm an alcoholic. John. Uh, I had a really good time yesterday, but I think I talked a little too much. I woke up at four this morning and I couldn't breathe and my throat was killing me, but um, that was good. It was a nice time. Um, the way I like to start is um, to let you know about the God of my understanding. It is an eternal God of love. It is endless. It is with me every single second of every single day of my life. And um, I take that from my whole life to this day. Um, I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that um, everything that happens in God's world is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And at this very moment, I am supposed to be right here. So that being said, um, one year ago today, uh, September 29th, uh, I quit my job and my friend Callan here dropped me off at the retreat. Um, after 14 years of recovery, um, I had a, a tough three month relapse. But I like to go back to 2004 when I came out here. Um, I came out here again with a, with a trust in God and a faith and uh, to start a spiritual journey. Uh, my friend Jessica here brought me to this church and I've met so many people that today um, are still in my life and I'm extremely grateful. Um, Callan and I have become like brothers. We've been together uh, for a long, long time. I've seen him get married, um, adopt a child, and um, the joy it brought me is exactly what um, God is about. Two, two friends that truly love each other and care about each other's lives, and he was there for me too in my struggle. Um, I think the biggest thing is that if that relapse made any, any sense to me. It's, um, I've never honestly talked to anyone in my whole life. Um, after my mom passed away, things were a little hard. Um, you know, you stuffed everything that happened, you accepted it. I never, never ever played victim. I never made excuses. That's the way I just thought things were supposed to be. Um, when I came out of the retreat, um, God blessed me with this angel. Um, this angel is somebody that I completely, completely trust and that I can talk to. And I'm gonna just give you a quick example. Um, when my mom was sick, um, she had asked her brother for his kidney. And um, this was in the 70s. I didn't think much of it at the time, and, but he had said no. And he lives in North Carolina. And uh, my mom got another kidney, and her body rejected it, and she passed away. Um, she was only 35 years old, and, but that is when I found God. So I, I, I don't believe there is ever an end to anything. I think our spirit lives forever. But what happened was, um, over the past year, I think God truly wants to give all of us peace and peace of mind. And about a couple of months ago, I was talking with this angel, we were having a conversation, we were talking about that, and I guess it came up to the forefront in my mind. And um, I haven't spoken to him in over 20 years. And we were sitting here and they were doing the prayers for the community. And there were two gentlemen sitting right over there. And one of them said to the other one, um, I'm here today because my brother gave me his kidney. And a little, a little light went on, and I'm sitting where I always usually sit. And I went home that day, and uh, I called my uncle, and I told him how much I loved him, and that I missed him. And I came to peace with something that I didn't even know was there until I started talking about it. Um, I've been at peace over this past year, and I believe that's the reason. I think God gives us everything that we need, and this angel is in my life, so I can continue to talk. Um, it's helped me. Um, this past month, um, I learned something about myself. Um, a lot has been going on. Uh, one of my uncles passed away. Um, the manager of my store had to go to Oklahoma to see her dad die, which he did last week. We had a bunch of new people in the store. All these things that were going on around me didn't matter. Um, I no longer let what's going on around me affect what's going on inside of me. In 
instead what I do is I bring who I am to wherever I am going and I don't do it alone. Um, and that piece has been a, a big, big help. So um, I am truly blessed to be a part of this church and have all of you in my life. I believe God works through all of us and anytime I have a nice little conversation with anyone here, it is from my heart to yours. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, what you have, I really don't care. We are all children of God and there's my connection and uh, I am truly blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you.